Hello everybody and welcome to some more fighter subscriber where you glorious people have sent me a whole bunch of your fighters We've uh, put them through a preliminary round and uh, now the very best will uh, go up in a series of 3v3s against my own fighters Which you can see here Today we will meet the ninth of the 12 craft that have made it through to this round And of course at the end the best four performers will make it through to this season's final So a quick bit of maths reveals that by the end of today We will know the name of the first fighter that has definitely made it through Let's not hang around then, let's meet today's contender this is the Zom2 Thunder Screech by DS Gamer, or Doris as he's known on the Discord, and this is a beautiful craft. This is stunning. A uh, a lot of thought obviously has gone into the uh, the looks here, and uh, it doesn't look like it'll be bad in the air either. It's got this quite distinctive dihedral wing shape. Uh, it's powered by two Saturn engines and two of the smaller Tiger engines, which is an interesting choice. Uh, and it's armed quite simply with 12 Sidewinders and two Gallate cannons, which uh, I'm sure we'll all be hoping to see in action. Uh, they're not the most accurate of guns, but uh, when they hit, yeah, you, you know about it. The test flight for this craft was uh, was interesting. Uh, the roll sensitivity on this thing is ridiculous. I had to create a version just for the test flight with the roll authority turned down, just so I could fly the damn thing. But it is uh, it is beautiful to fly, wonderfully manoeuvrable. It should have no problems whatsoever lining its shots up, and uh, all those engines give it plenty of power as well. I think we're looking at a very high scorer here, but um, well, it's time for us to go and find out. So we switch back to the less controllable version of the craft, although I'm sure the AI won't have any real difficulties with it in this, its first fight against my, uh, my less conventional craft, the club tail. Let's get this one started. And this, our first round starts and everybody turns around to loose missiles. The club tails will of course be getting their amrams away, but um, the, uh, the thunder screeches only have the sidewinders on them, so they'll be launching that. Not that effective at this range, but once they uh, once they close in, those uh, those will be very deadly. I'm a little bit worried for my craft here. Um, the uh, the Zom2 Thunder Screech came joint 12th in the preliminaries with the uh, with Daniel Garcia's F18E. Uh, I did have to I did have to do a, a playoff to see which would be one of the 12 craft that would make it through to this round. Um, I, yeah, it's not it's not up on the site at the moment. I did record it, so I might put it up as a private video if uh, if people are interested, and put the address up on the Discord or something. Um, but yes, the uh, the Zom2 triumphed, where the F18E uh, sadly did not. <laughs> yeah, the the, the Thunder Screech really did, really did kick kick the F18's backside as well. It was um, it was very one-sided. Five wins to nothing and um, 15 kills to two. Still going back and forth with the missiles. No uh, casualties just yet, but the the Thunder Screeches are closing in. Jebediah and Bill Kerman here at something slowing right down. Oh no, it's one of the Thunder Screeches that goes first. Looks like one of the Thunder Screeches. That is a cloud of debris there effectively out of the match but might just be able to keep enough control together to um to distract the club tails and that is one of the club tails gone right there i there's another explosion two of the club tails have gone all three of them have gone in quick succession and as i was saying yeah that's what happens when you get into sidewinder range against sidewinder equipped craft although it does look like that other thunder screech has a uh, crashed into the ground. So a good start for the Zom2 Thunder Screech. Let's um let's see how they do in the next fight. Definitely a solid start there for the Zom2 Thunder Screech, but can they keep that going into this second fight against my Panthers? Let's uh, let's get them up into the air. So how will the Thunder Screech get on here? Um, they're not particularly quick with the missiles when they turn round. Uh, unlike some of the Amram equipped craft. Oh, what was that? I think that was a, a Sidewinder launched a little too early. So the Panthers will have the opportunity to turn around and uh, should have the opportunity to turn around and get their Amrams away. 
Although it doesn't seem to be happening at the moment. The, uh, the Thunder Screeches seem to have kind of a free run of things at the moment. The Panther's just breaking low, dodging missiles, I presume. Yeah, Valentina Kerman running straight away, just popping, uh, popping flares all the while. It's not looking good for the Panthers at the moment. Shawnee Kerman doing much the same, and Rowena Kerman just flying straight into the ground. It is looking like a terrible fight for the Panthers so far. Not a single missile launched, I don't think. Here comes a Sidewinder. This is not looking good. Valentina Kerman out of here. This is looking like it's going to be a victory for the Thunder Screechers and a particularly quick one at that. The Panthers did not, as I predicted... Oh, look at the horde of Sidewinders coming for Shawnee Kerman. Oh no, Shawnee. Oh no, Shawnee, Shawnee Kerman. This is, this is not going to end well for you. Just wave after wave after wave just obliterates the craft. What's left of this panther? Just the tail section with the... with the weapon manager on it. And just... Just to double check, no, none of the none of the thunder creatures have sustained any damage. Although I'm a little disappointed we haven't seen the uh, the Gawaits in action yet. Although um, that could all change as they'll face some uh, stiffer competition in the next fight. So the Zom Two has already accrued 11 points, and with the way points work uh, in this competition. That means that uh, should the uh, Thunder Screech win its next round, it will occupy a top four position. And if it doesn't, it won't. It's as simple as that. And it does, as I mentioned, face some tough competition in the form of my latest craft, the Red Hawk. Let's, uh, let's get this one going. And because all the fights have been ridiculously short, we are going to uh, follow up the Thunder Screeches. Yeah, those... Those sidewinders are deadly. I'm really hoping they nerf them a little bit in future versions of BD Armoury. Um, what I don't think helps is the way that uh, the BD Armoury AI tries to evade missiles. Uh, they just sort of try and um, try and point themselves perpendicular to the uh, to the travel of the missiles and just pop countermeasures, which works very well for AMRAMs, but for sidewinders doesn't really seem to do anything so maybe that's something else that uh, they'll look at fingers crossed who knows we'll uh, we'll just have to wait here and find out but may have to look at some adjustments to the rules so it's not all that one-sided how are we doing we are coming up on the eight kilometer mark and the competition begins and hopefully the red hawks will get away some of their own missiles Ah, uh, yes, there they go the uh, the latest of my craft and the most maneuverable of my craft the Thunder Screech here didn't manage to get away any missiles of its own, which uh, looks promising for the Red Hawks, but we'll have to see how this pans out. I am starting to think it might have been a very good thing that um, we did the preliminary round and hence have had to uh, close new entries to Season 3, because otherwise I think I'd have just been inundated with entries that are just <laughs> Sidewinder after Sidewinder after Sidewinder. Jebediah Kerman turning to evade yet another volley of uh, another volley of Amrams. Now, of course, the Amrams have already taken out one of the uh, one of the Thunder Screeches this uh, this round this uh, this episode, and I think it would do the uh, do the Red Hawks no harm whatsoever if the same happened here again. Is that another missile? I think the uh, the Red Hawks should be getting away their last volley of Amrams here. Although that that is dangerous. Oh, here comes the gunfire! Rakes across the body of the Thunder Screech. There, I think that Red Hawk did actually manage to uh, to avoid the gunfire. What's happened here? Have you lost your air intakes? You have lost your air intakes. Something's exploding. I think explosions. It Things are pausing. Yes, another one of the Thunder Screeches has gone. Or uh, will be shortly. 
Oh, and just in time to see the last healthy Thunder Screech decapitated. Have any of the Red Hawks suffered damage? Now, in the last video, that's the no, that's the decapitated one. Here we go with the last, the last kind of surviving Thunder Screech. I think it's just going to be picked apart by uh, Sidewinders now. Yeah. Wow, the Red Hawks. I mean, last episode they did pretty poorly against um, against the Sidewinders of the opposing craft, but have really shown what they can do here. It's just a complete reversal of those earlier rounds. But um, yeah, let's go and. Let's go and see what this means for the scores. So that was the Zom 2 Thunder Screech, a beautiful craft and a few little innovations in there which uh, I might take note of for some of my own creations. But uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's get down to business. If we bring up the leaderboard, we can see that with six kills and five survivors, the Thunder Screech is on a total of 11 points, sadly outside the, uh, outside the top four and so won't be competing in this season's final. That last fight handing a bit of a reprieve there to uh, Maximus Light's Shinden. Um, but for a craft which only just scraped into this round by the skin of its teeth, I don't think it's done too badly. My sincere thanks to Dires Gamer, or Dores, whichever you prefer, uh, for this craft. Uh, if you want me to fight any of your own craft, as I mentioned earlier, it uh, it is too late to get into this season of Fighter Subscriber, but there will be future competitions, and there is always my regular mailbag streams. I'll put the email address down in the description, and I will, uh, I'll try to feature your craft there if you fancy sending them to me. Anyway, that will be all for today. If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider liking, subscribing, uh, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, all that kind of stuff, all the information down below. Uh, I will be back soon with some more Fighter Subscriber, but for now, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.